Hello guys and welcome to my second YouTube video. So I did post a poll on my Instagram story. I really, I knew that I wanted to film something for YouTube but I just didn't know what. So I went to Instagram stories to help me figure out what I exactly I wanted to film today. A lot of people said they wanted a tutorial and a lot of people voted for warm tones. So I don't know what this tutorial is going to be, so without further ado, let's go on with the tutorial. So the first thing that I like to do before I put any makeup on is moisturize. I've told you guys many, many times my skin is super, super dry. Something that really helps my skin is this It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It's such a good moisturizer. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub this on my skin. It feels so good. This is also good for if you want to go to sleep. This um, moisturizer is so good if you want to wake up with some nice, like, soft skin, some supple skin. And it wears really well under makeup, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get started first with the eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown, and I'm just going to go with the natural shape of my brows and kind of extend it just a little bit so there's a little tail at the end. I can't, I can't buy my brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in the number 12. I'm just gonna go ahead and comb my hairs up here just to see where, like, where I need to fill. So basically, I always comb my brow hairs up and out, so angled like this, and then I just underline where my brow hair starts, so. We're gonna go ahead and do that and start start filling. So for the top, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Follow the angle that you did when you were underlining your brow. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe Y21 brush. I'm just gonna take this flat brush. The reason I like this is because it's so straight. It always makes my brows look so cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, palette here and I'm going to just dip my brush into that concealer and I'm only gonna use a little bit to clean the edges of my brow and make it look just a little more perfect just a little more instagram worthy This is what the brows look like. After I outline them with some concealer, I'm just gonna take this shader brush. Um, this doesn't have a name anymore, but I do know that it's from Morphe. It looks like this. People like to use this for um, shading their under eyes, but I love to use this for cleaning up my brows, like blending out the concealer, so that's what I'm gonna use it for. Um, yeah, just gonna go ahead and clean, 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 clean. And if you do um, erase too much of your brow away, you can always go back into the dip brow and just retouch up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and deepen up the ends, trying to make sure that you can't see where my brow ends. And then what I like to do to set my brows into place is I like to use the soap brow method. So this is the soap that I've been using Four years, you can see I made a pretty good dent in it. This is some uh, rose soap from Thailand. I do not know. I know it's from an Asian market, but I honestly don't know what brand it is or whatever. I just know that it's Asian. And then I also spray some rose water, Mario Badescu rose water spray onto the soap. And then I take a spoolie. This spoolie is just from the e.l.f. Cosmetics holiday set that I got in December. Um, and I just kind of move the spoolie around in the soap until you don't want it to sud you don't want it to start foaming you just want it to be a gel like consistency and then you just run it through your brow hairs there we go these are the set brows now we're gonna go ahead and go into the eyes today i'm gonna go ahead and use more of my tarte shape tape concealer this is in the shade medium as you can see my eyelids are a little dark once i put this on it literally creates such a good base for me to 
do eyeshadow on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my lid and then I'm gonna take a blending brush to blend it out. This is a Real Techniques blending brush. I honestly do not know what the name is, but it does come in a set and I just use it to buff out the concealer. I'm gonna buff the concealer from my lid all the way up to my brow bone where I cleaned my eyebrows so that it's one cohesive look. And you see what I mean when I say that it creates such a good base for me? Okay, see, this is the eyelids right now. People wanna see warm tones, so we're gonna do warm tones today. So for the warm tone look today, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. By the way, I haven't been setting the concealer that sits on my eyelid. I actually find that the eyeshadows blend better on top of it. They actually look a little more vibrant on top of it, so. That's why I haven't been setting it, if you're wondering. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Eden with my Makeup Shock T59 brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that right into my crease as a transition. This is a very pretty pinky peach color. I just, I love it. I am just gonna go ahead and buff the edges out just so it looks a little bit more blended. Other eye, other eye, other eye. Um, the next brush that I like to use when I'm doing this look is the Makeup Shack T33 brush. This is like a flat shading blender brush. Um, and then I'm going to go into the shade Amber, which is my favorite red of all time. And I'm just going to take that shade into the, the outer crease. I'm going to go ahead and tap some of that out on right here. And then I'm going to look straight and then put some in my inner corner as well, just the lightest amount. And then when you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and connect. Connect those two little patches of the amber shade and go over. So basically what you're doing is you're patting some right here, you're patting some right here, and then you're going like this to connect the two. That is what's gonna make it look a little more blended than just going straight like this. It's also going to make for a good halo effect. I think that's what I'm going for today is a halo eye. This is literally just going to be a blueprint for the darker colors. The darker colors are what's really going to make this halo eye look amazing. Tap, tap, tap. Like I said, same technique. You're just going to tap the pigment on. Warm tones. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my Modern Renaissance palette, which is very well used. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Red Ochre and just put a little bit more red. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a more defined brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with, this is the Morphe M431, which is basically just a pencil brush. Go back into the Desert Dusk palette. I'm gonna take the shade Oud and I'm just gonna kind of define the crease a little more. I think I'm only gonna put this one on the outer corner. Actually, no. Instead of the Morphe M431, I believe it is, I'm gonna take the Morphe M562. This is the brush that I used when I was doing my cut crease. There's hella black in it. I'm trying to get it all off. YOLO! I'm gonna go ahead and put some oud on this and I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner of my eye just to define it a little more. And the reason that I like oud is because it looks dark in the pan and it does go on dark, but it blends so well that it's not that dark. <laughs> also gonna go ahead and just kind of go a little more in here. Just fade it into the lid as if you were doing a smoky eye. But leave the center. Leave the center un untouched. Go in here into my tear duct area and just lightly shade. Okay, it's looking a little bit flat, so I'm just going to round it out with that shade. Going back into the Makeup Shack. T33 brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that dark shade into the 
sheets that we've already placed just to make it look a little bit more smoky here. This is a process. Oh my gosh, process. So basically now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean the middle of the lid. I'm gonna go ahead again and take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush. I believe this is a lip brush. Like I said in my Instagram story, I love using lip brushes to do any kind of detail work on the eye because it just works so well. And I'm basically just gonna go right above my pupil and I'm just going to clean the center of the lid. It's like you're doing a cut crease, but you're only cutting the middle of your lid. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sigma um, E56 brush to shade on the gold shadow. I'm gonna use the shade Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray some Fix Plus on to the brush before I dip in. And then, before I continue anything, I'm going to let that dry because you don't want to disrupt. You don't want to disturb the piece. Then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 562 brush, going back in with Oud, and I'm just going to shade out the corner edges. Yes, I love it. And then just for a little bit more drama, I am gonna add just a tiny bit of glitter. So with the same uh, Sigma brush, I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX Glitter Primer to apply. And um, by the way, like I said, I'm only using a very, very tiny amount of this. I'm gonna only put it in the very center here, just for a little bit extra, a little bit of some, some extra, you know? And then I'm gonna take a um, a flat shader brush, and I'm just gonna pack that on to the center. Oh, well, that was a little bit much, wasn't that? Just gonna go ahead and tap the glitter off and just kind of spread it with this brush. Just for some a little extra. Cause I'm extra. Like I said, the glitter was just a little extra. You literally don't have to apply that glitter. But if you wanna be extra, you could. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply the fall seed. Curl my lashes, apply some mascara. This is the Colossal Big Volume Express Mascara by Makeup Shayla and Maybelline. Ooh, if I did not get lashes, oh my gosh, I do not even know what this look would look like. This is my favorite part. I love lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Stroke Cream in the shade Gold Light, and I'm just gonna apply that heavily all throughout my face. This is gonna add a glow to my skin. Oh my god, I can't get over these lashes. They're so crazy. Oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 332, which is Warm Honey from Maybelline. You don't really have to get near the eyes because you're just going to go in with concealer anyway. Going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my under eyes. This is the shade Medium once again.
I know it's looking a little cray cray, but I do like to go in with my blending brush from e.l.f. And I do like to kind of go in with it. Just go in. So this is like kind of blending it already with a brush. Does make it a little bit easier to blend it out later with a beauty blender. So this is what I like to do. I'm going to go in the beauty blender. And when you blend it, you can tell the difference. It just does, it does look amazing. Like it does make a difference to go in with a brush. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the Patrick Star powder, with the translucent powder from MAC and the collaboration with Patrick Star. This, I will say it literally over and over, is the best like setting powder ever. Like if you're really oily, this will be amazing for you. I'm not even oily and I love it. It just, it's not only because it sets your like um, concealer and it sets your face. It's not only that, it takes away a lot of texture. So if your skin is textured, if you have a lot of acne, like little, little, little bumps, this is like perfect. It's literally gonna take it away. I'm gonna go ahead and continue um, with my bottom lash line. I'm just gonna take the oud shade that I used in my crease and just blend it on the bottom then for a little bit more dimension i'm gonna apply some highlight in the center i'm gonna be using the desi katie dose of colors highlight in meet me okay 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 I should stop before I get carried away. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Princess Cut and just go ahead and put that all over my face. Taking this Morphe E4 blush brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blush. This is the Flush Palette in the shade Sesso from Urban Decay, and I'm just gonna take the blush part of this palette and apply it on the apples of my cheek. I like a lot of blush. I like a lot of blush. Blush. Okay. Also on my nose here. For highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and use the does the Katie highlight? This is the shade Mirame. Mirame. Okay, okay, come through, come through. Making the C shape right here. And then also right in the center, just whatever's left. And then I'm going to fix plus my entire face. And then when this when that dries, I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe Mist. I'm going to go ahead and use my go-to lip. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Frenzy. Okay, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it wasn't too, too dramatic for you. Um, if it is too dramatic for you, um, you don't have to wear these lashes. I think this would look so, so beautiful without lashes too. But if you are extra, well, these lashes, honey, do you see this? Well, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this look. And if you enjoyed, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!